Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. In this game, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello on the sideline, David Aldridge. Here the regular season, Clark, in full swing. Think the teams topping the rankings now are going to stay there? Well, I tell you, Kevin, it's way too early to know uh, trades, injuries, how teams improve. There is so much that could happen and totally shift the power balance. I think we just got to let a little more time pass before we start locking into which teams are at the top of the heat. And so the Milwaukee Bucks get the first points of the ball game. Robinson a screen on Moncrief, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time, the whistle blowing. And there's the foul against Milwaukee. Putting the free in free throws. World be free. Second free throw, no good. On offense, here are the Bucks. Here's the dude. Nice touch on the bank shot. So many different tricks up his sleeve. Makes him a tough matchup. Here's Houston. 12 points his last outing. It's tipped. They recover it. Nice hit again. Wants to get it to Robinson and does. And the shot goes in. We're about one minute into the first. For Milwaukee, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Here's the dude. And again, it's Milwaukee converted. Clearly, he's found his rhythm early in this one. Looking to score whenever he can, whenever he has. And this team encourages him to be active on offense because they understand how dangerous he can be. Here's Houston. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. The rebound by Lister. Bucks have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Down low, Johnson. Oh, and the jam by Johnson. What a feed by Moncrief. Adept at keeping the ball moving. The Cavaliers have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Free passes to Robinson, and he comes up with the deuce. You know, they'll be looking for more of that. An easy layup right there. Always nice to get a few easy ones early in a game to build a rhythm. Here's the dude. Connects on the 17-footer. The dude's got six. Absolutely fearless with that mid-range shot. Surprised he got it up and over him. That looked like he just knew where he was on the court. Great job to finish the play. Here's free. And we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. Wide open look. Doesn't get it to drop for him. For Milwaukee, they've gone five of six so far from the field to start out the game. Here's Johnson. And another basket for Milwaukee. Nice work from the mid-range. Johnson is creative at finding space to get his shot off. Here's Houston. It's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Cavaliers able to retain possession here. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. Tell you what, early in the game, these kinds of plays can really set the tone. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Pass to free over Moncrief. The hustle for Moncrief. Outstanding job making his presence felt on the defensive end. Here's the dude. Trying to get open is Johnson. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Here's the dude. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. The Cavaliers trail by nine. Here's free. 
You saw him with 19 points his last outing. Passes to Hinson. There's a screen by Robinson. Fires high post. A nice shot by Hinson. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. Milwaukee leading by seven. Here's the dude. Robinson pulls it in. Even though they came up empty, that's exactly the shot they want. They'll take that kind of look every time down the floor. Hopefully with a different result next time. Jerome Kersey's checked in for Milwaukee. Into the lineup for your Bucks. Number nine, Jerome Kersey. Pass to Houston. A rebound by the Bucks. You know, his scoring has just been AWOL this quarter. I'm not sure what the issue is, but his team is doing what they can to try and get him going. It's good. Ten points for the dude. The Cavaliers trail by nine. And the pass to Houston. Cooper with the bucket. Wonderful ball movement. Houston has a great feel for how to involve his teammates. The Bucs have gone 8 of 11 in the first quarter. They'll take that percentage any night. Here's the dude. Nailed from three-point land. The dude's got 13 points. Right from the start, they set the tone and were the more dominant team. I love how they've looked right from the tip. Doing an amazing job building this lead. Here's World B Free. Nails it from the high post. All too easy for Free. He is so assertive from the mid-range. Baseline try. The Cavaliers pull it in. Robinson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Henson. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Free passes to Cooper. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. World B. Free, a talented combo guard, known for his scoring. But I like seeing him find open teammates, too. And the Bucks making a change here. Markeski's checked in. Got a switch here also for Cleveland. Bagley's checked in. From 15 feet away, and it's in off the backboard. And that's 15 points for the dude. He has been in some kind of groove here lately, really cooking on the offensive end. Yep, this is exactly what we saw from him in their last game. Lots of confidence. Here's Houston. He has yet to score. Bagley dishes to Robinson. Six to shoot. Over Kersey. And again, it's Cleveland. Interesting use of the fadeaway. But hey, it worked. Bucks leading by six. Markeski passes to the dude. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. And he's been in the zone so far. Getting to his spots and going to town on the defense. Pass to Henson. Robinson with it. Covered by Kersey. With the teardrop. It's rebounded by Mokeski. To the middle. And it's Johnson with the jam. From the tip, this team has flexed its muscles and shown its dominance. What a start, particularly on the offensive end. Now, here's Bagley. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. Here's Hinson, covered by Johnson. And yes, it's good. 110 left to play in the first quarter. Here's the dude. It's deflected. Yep, that one goes in there. The Cavaliers trail by 10. And the Cavaliers call time here. Nice game. Great performance by the dude. Good time for a huddle. Gives them a chance to strategize and figure out how to stop giving him shots.
55 seconds left in the first. Here's Hubbard. Passes it to Free. Shoots over Moncrief. And the basket by Free. Free's got five now. Love Free's take charge attitude. Never backs down. Fantastic at catching and shooting. Here's the dude. Plays it up and banks it in. And the Bucks lead by 10. Still in the first quarter, and they've already carved out a double-digit lead. In complete control thus far. They couldn't have asked for a better start. It's stolen by Johnson. Seven-second difference, shot and game clock. Here's the dude. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Last time they met in Cleveland. You know, if we're truthful, last game was just a bad one for them. And it wasn't just the offense or defense. It was everything. Pass to Bagley. Here's Free. They set the screen to the inside. And Poquette gets it to drop. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly, that was their game plan coming in. And so it's Milwaukee in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. The most consistent attack on offense so far has been the mid-range jump shot. We'll see if they can keep that rolling. Something else they're doing well tonight, guys. Lots of points in the paint. Something to continue to keep our eye on. Bagley. And Kersey pulls it down. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. And that one's good, the dude. The dude's got the lead up to 10 now for the Bucks. Hey, it's as plain as pound cake. Keep it simple. They want to see how big this lead can get. No such thing as running up the score at this level. Count the basket. These high percentage looks don't come easy for Bagley, but he fights for them. Here's Moncrief, and there are the Bucks with another bucket. Nice job taking what the defenders give him. Those guys need a gut check right now. Yeah, you'd love to see a little more fire from the defense. They can't just be giving the game away. Here's Free. He has five. Shoots over Moncrief. Can't cash in from the high post. Kicks it to Johnson. The pass to the dude. Shoots it up. That one falls coming off Johnson's feet. And now it's a 12-point Bucks lead. The team first mindset of Marcus Johnson. What a catalyst. Great play there. That's a great way to energize your team. Right? I mean, the timing and the chemistry on display with that well-orchestrated alley-oop. And looking to even up the score. They're hoping that's the start of a run. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Sisters checked in for McKeskey. And as always, the mid part of the NBA season, quite a grueling part of the schedule. Right now, let's check out how the standings are shaping up in the East. You look at the Bucks. They've been in peak form as we've watched them play some tremendous basketball with an eye toward the postseason. And checking out Cleveland. They have a lot of ground to make up. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Releases. And that one's good, the dude. The dude's got six here in this quarter. Offensively, they've clearly and far and away been the more efficient team. Yeah, the offense is running smoothly, and it's only the first half, but they've looked more prepared for this matchup. Here's Houston. Scoreless thus far. Lock at six. Hubbard the pass to Houston. Here's Hubbard. Puts up a deep three. Kersey grabs the board. Even for good shooters like him, that's still a bit deep. Well, we've seen him make those before, but it's not an easy shot. And that one's good, the dude. His mid-range shot is very solid. I mean, for some reason, the defense let him have it. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. 
Houston passes to free. A rebound by Lister. Lister's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's the dude, and there are the Bucks with another bucket. Boy, are they locked in on offense, knocking down every shot right now. And the other team has to step it up on defense. No excuse letting them torch you like this. Here's Houston. Shoots from the elbow. Three can't get it to go. Now, here's Johnson. Defense is right there. When the inside defense tries to cut Johnson off, he recommits to the play and gives them some physicality right back. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And he can't get the first one. Cooper, he's checked in for Higgins. And no good on the second free throw, so he goes 0 for 2 there. Well, you think about it, what makes Marcus Johnson such a great player? Well, he does it all from the forward position. Racks up points, drops dimes, he rebounds the ball effectively, helps out in a bunch of different ways. Just a terrific all-around forward. Here's free. He has five. Over Moncrief. And another miss by Cleveland. And he forced that shot. When the defense is this tight, you're better off passing out of it and looking for a better shot. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Brewer is checked in for the Bucks. Bucks leading by 16. Here's the dude. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. The dude's got 12 points now in the quarter. The Cavaliers have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. Right wing. Hubbard the pass to Houston. Yep, that yeah, one goes. Houston. If you want to play in this league, you have to make the tough shots. Ones like Houston just got. Out to the right wing. Here's the dude. It's hauled in by the Cavaliers. Defeated by the Pacers in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Never a good feeling to lose a game on the road, especially when it comes as a result of not putting forth the kind of effort you need to on defense. You hit the nail on the head. Inexcusable defense, in my opinion. I'm sure Coach let them all know about it after the game. The Cavaliers trail by 16. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Milwaukee making a switch here. Pressy is checked in. Robinson's checked in for Cleveland. Bagley comes in for free. To the wing on the left. Here's Henson. There's the dish to Bagley. A floater, and it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Here's Bagley. Six on the shot clock. Here's Houston. No good from outside. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. Here's the dude, and another basket for Milwaukee. Paul Pressy, really the original point forward, if you will. Such a great passer from the forward position. The Cavaliers trail by 18. Here's Houston. Robinson a screen on Moncrief. Bobbed up there for Robinson. Hammers the alley-oop through. Incredible finish. And they made it look easy. Don't you love to see that beautiful alley-oop? Wow. Talk about a major throwdown. That was special. And the Cavaliers pushing it up now. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Now that's how you capitalize on the fast break chance. Yeah, points can be hard to come by in this league. So you'll welcome any chance at an easy bucket. The Duke and another basket for Milwaukee. 
And so it's Bagley with it. He brings it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's a 16-point game. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Clever play by Bagley against contact. Slipping by it and to his finish. Here's the dude. Here's Brewer. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Battling for the second chance points there. That kind of effort is why they've got the lead. Defensively, they need to match that energy. Well, they'll have a difficult time getting back into this game. They get it again. That shot, no good. Bucks leading by 16. From the baseline. And another basket for Milwaukee. Cleveland's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Up top, Bagley. Inside. At the tip. Great positioning on the putback. Cooper's got his third basket of the night. Nice work on the offensive boards. Yeah, just getting the touch just right for that tip and well timed. Fantastic play. Yeah, it's easier said than done. But he did make it look effortless out there. And some changes here for the Buck. And so a pretty lopsided game for the first half. Milwaukee on top, running away with this one. And we'll get going after this from UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. We're seeing a tremendous game from the dude. Boy, you like the discipline and patience he's played with through the first half. Never forcing it, always letting the game come to him. Just good, sound, fundamental basketball. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a, a different look for Milwaukee. McKeskey's checked in for Brewer. Moncrief comes in for Lister. And it's the dude in for Foster. Bucks leading by 21. A chance here to get a quick injury report. Hey, Kevin, I chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for the Cavaliers. And this is an unfortunate injury and potentially devastating for them. It's a big injury for them. We'll see how this group of players responds going forward. Back to you guys. And Clark, all we can do now is wish him a speedy recovery. Well, Kevin, it looks to be a pretty serious injury, but I certainly hope it's not a devastating one. Me too. And what a gut punch to this team. They look to him for so much, and in a flash, he's gone. Boy, this is turning the height disadvantage into an advantage. Yeah, smart play. Take him out of the paint area. Make the taller guy guard you on the perimeter. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Here's the dude. And another basket for Milwaukee. Enjoying this big lead, and right now they look unstoppable on offense. Everything is going exactly how their coach drew it up. Top to bottom, this is the pinnacle of execution. Three, and that one is good. Three's got nine. What a strong drive from Free. Sometimes you aren't stopping him when he's charging inside with force. Here's the dude. Here's Greedy. Pass to the dude. And Hinson pulls it down. Cavaliers have gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. To the paint, wants to get it to Robinson and does. Misses from close range. Not officially a block, but it's one in my book. He really affected the shot. Was in great position. Textbook defense. And that one's good, the dude. Guys, it's a one-man show out there. I mean, he looks like he's willing to handle all of the offensive duties for his team. Houston passes to Robinson. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That's his first foul. There's he's checked in for Milwaukee. Into the lineup for Yellow Bucks. Number nine, Jerome Kersey. 
Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Pass to Houston. Got a hand on it. Here's the dude. Non-stop scoring machine here. Good, that's another bucket. He's out ahead of the pack on both sides with his scoring so far. Playing with a lot of intensity and refusing to be denied. Pass to free. The pass to Houston. Dishes to Robinson. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. It will be a rerun. Pass to Henson. Five to shoot. Here's Houston. Goes back up. And it's Cooper missing. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Shot from the wing. The Cavaliers pull it in. Cooper's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Henson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second personal foul. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Well, you know, in some circles, this is an unpopular point, but there can be value in taking the mid-range shot. This team is certainly proving that tonight. Something else that stands out is how they've shared the ball. They're getting a lot of their points from sharp passing. Pressy's checked in for the Bucks. A switch here also for Cleveland. Bagley's checked in. The Bucks have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Moncrief, the pass to the dude. The rebound by Cooper. Cooper's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Houston. Pressy defending. Robinson a screen on Pressy. Here's Houston. And it's Moncrief with the rebound. You know, he's taking shot after shot after shot, but still can't break out of this cold streak. At this point, it's all mental. He's in his own head, not letting the shots come naturally, showing just how dominant he can be. He's just carrying this offense right now. Houston passes to Robinson. Looking to get back on track here. Another shot. It's rebounded by Kersey. Kersey's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's the dude. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Right side, Bagley. Nice, aggressive play by Bagley. Drawing the foul. Cleveland shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Team foul. Shooting for Cleveland. John Bagley. And that one misses. Kyle Macy's checked in for the dude. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Substitution on the court. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Bagley the pass to Higgins. Shoots from the line, and he drops that one in. You know, when it's Bagley as your point guard being a scorer, that'll add another dimension to the offense. Bagley brings the double team. And that one's good, the dude. It's obvious he's looking to continue to attack on offense so this lead can expand. And if you were hitting like he is in this one, you would be too. His efficiency has done a lot for them. Rising up to finish the oop. And Clark, you and I sitting here could just see that play developing right before our eyes. Good vision on the pass to put it right on the money. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. Blocking foul called on Marcus Johnson. Fourth personal foul, second team foul. Outside, Bagley. And he threw the blocking foul. He'll go to the line for two. And I like watching Bradley orchestrate an offense. So good at finding ways to involve teammates. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Passes it to free. Puts it up from 17. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lister's got six rebounds in the game. 
Back to Johnson. Shoots a three. Hubbard with the rebound. Cavaliers have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. That's tipped. And they recover it. Outside, Bagley. Inside, Cooper. Brewer grabs the board. Milwaukee's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's the dude, and there are the Bucks with another bucket. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. To the middle. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Look now, World B Free averages over 30 a season. So he's a bona fide, certified, credential bucket maker. Here's the dude. Not a piece of it. Cavaliers shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. And they pick up two. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Here's the dude. This is unbelievable, Clark. He's coming up on 60 points. Remarkable effort. I mean, this is the stuff that legends are made of. it again. Wow. You know, I don't care what your lead is or how many points you're up. I think you should always be looking to add to it. Stay aggressive. Yeah, aggressive move right at the rim. Driving another nail into that coffin. Off on the layup. Seemed as if he had the angle to finish, but the defense did just enough to throw him off. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Wow, what a play. How in the heck did he make that? Somehow maintaining control even while absorbing the foul. That's impressive. McKeskey's checked in for Brewer. And that one misses. I they've captured an impressive lead. Oh, yeah. They're in the driver's seat right now, Kevin. Both hands on the wheel. He sees an opening and takes it. Moving the ball inside and into the hands of a guy ready to score. Pass to Robinson. Here's Houston. Now the pass to Cooper. Here's the dude. Connects again. Cavaliers have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. Houston passes to Robinson. Here's Houston. High post try, and that's good. Robinson picking up the assists. Here's the dude. Now here is Moncrief. Here's the dude. Hands it from downtown. He is a challenging matchup from out there. Can knock down even the toughest shots. Cavaliers are gone. 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth. Right around 46-47%. Here's Hubbard. Shoots over Johnson. And it's Cooper missing. Johnson surveying the floor. Here's the dude. Almost, but it rolls out. The Cavalier shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That'll be his second foul of the game. The Bucks making a switch here. Brewers checked in. One thirty-one left in the game. Pass to free. Here's Henson. Shot clock at six. Passes it to Cooper. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Houston, it doesn't go for him. Some solid defense from Moncrief. Milwaukee's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Had their fingerprints all over this matchup tonight. Just an impressive victory for the Bucks. I no question about this one. Delivering a decisive victory here. They were able to execute better and made the most of their chances. Fantastic performance from the whole roster. You said it. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. 30 wins on the year now. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for the dude. 
Boy, this game really had his name all over it. I mean, he relished being the guy to carry the load offensively. And I really like Houston's skill set. His ability to feed his teammates and make them better is especially impressive. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 59 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's the dude who cranes the 19-footer. And this run has helped seal the win. Give them credit for executing down the stretch. Nice work. Houston passes to Cooper. Shoots. Robinson misses. Looking to keep it rolling. Stay on the attack and keep playing the right way. And another one falls. The fans heading home very satisfied tonight. With good reason. Their team played well. On grief against free. Down low. Houston the bucket. Jeff Works his way in there. Houston with no fear. Here's the dude. Goes up at the stripe. The shot comes out. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. Well, Clark, they put on a show for this home crowd, playing with a lot of precision and just having their way out there at the end. Yeah, this place was buzzing on fire. The energy was overwhelming. Fun to watch, but not so much fun for their opponents. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Kevin Harlan signing off. So long.